saludos cordiales desde la República del Paraguay. Soy el coronel retirado de la Fuerza Aérea Paraguaya, Liduino Vilma Díaz, presidente de la Agencia Espacial del Paraguay. En esta circunstancia, quiero felicitar a la Agencia Espacial Mexicana por un año más de vida institucional. Está visto que la Agencia Espacial Mexicana hizo mucho por México. Prueba de eso, el avance de la tecnología espacial en la República de México. Sigamos para adelante en cooperación, que la tecnología espacial es vital e importante. Desde la Agencia Espacial del Paraguay, congratulaciones para todo México. Gracias. Saludos desde Venezuela. Hoy, toda la familia de la Agencia Bolivariana para Actividades Espaciales se llena de júbilo al conocer el décimo aniversario de la Agencia Espacial Mexicana. Durante 10 años han realizado un loable trabajo en materia de cooperación internacional espacial y son garantes de llevar a cabo los proyectos de investigación y todos aquellos convenios de cooperación lo cual demuestra una verdadera interpretación de toda la integración de las agencias espaciales del mundo. Quiero reiterar mis felicitaciones a la Agencia Espacial Mexicana por estos 10 años de gran trayectoria y expresar mi entusiasmo por continuar en este convenio, en estas cooperaciones de forma conjunta en materia de formación, de investigación para el personal, donde podamos eh, evaluar y llevar a cabo nuevos proyectos, nuevas experiencias y nuevos conocimientos. Buenos días. I'm Giorgio Saccoccia, the president of the Italian Space Agency, and I wish to extend my warm congratulations to everyone at the Mexican Space Agency, and in particular to the Director General, Dr. Salvador Landeros Ayala, and to Dr. Rosa Ramirez de Arellano, as you celebrate the 10th anniversary of your agency. Along with the many valuable achievements you have reached so far for the consolidation of all space activities and sector in Mexico. The Italian Space Agency thanks you for the opportunity to share with you this milestone in your space history in a region where space agencies and industries are enhancing their activities for the socio-economic development of Latin America and to face the many challenges of this area, such as natural disaster management, agriculture, and natural resources preservation. Since 2012, When we signed the Memorandum of Understanding between our, between our two agencies, we have accomplished already many joint projects. A master course in Earth observation held at the Geodesic Space Center of Matera in 2015. The Italian-Mexican Space Forum held at the premises of the Mexican Space Agency in 2017, dedicated to Earth observation, to science and exploration. A number of recent synergies put in place to mitigate the COVID-19 pandemic. The Mexican Space Agency is demonstrating an amazing proactive commitment to develop high-level indigenous capabilities as well as a competitive space industry and a robust space science in close synergy with the academic world and the international space community. This is why I'm certain that in the coming decades there will be even more accomplishments. The entire family of the Italian Space Agency, of ASI, thanks you for your valuable partnership and friendship. Gracias y felicitaciones. Ladies and gentlemen, It is with great pleasure that I join you today in celebrating the 10-year anniversary of the foundation of the Mexican Space Agency, the AEM. First of all, 
let me express my sincere congratulations to the agency and remind you that France and Mexico have enjoyed a fruitful partnership in space since its inception. From 2013, a common goal was set around the organization of workshops on image processing. I could highlight the management of forest resources with a workshop organized jointly last year in Guadalajara. Allow me to mention just one great success we have accomplished together with the production of a prototype telemetry and telecommand system for use on light balloons and nanosatellites, completed in less than a year in partnership with UNEM. Our cooperation is founded on the study on the environment, climate and oceans for scientific research and operation on climate change. Efforts to tackle climate change are a priority for France and the space sector is actively contributing to it. Driven by CNES, in June 2019, 22 space agencies and international organizations, including AEM, met to sign the joint declaration of interest on the Space Climate Observatory, the SCO. This observatory aims to pull space data relating to the study of the climate and to facilitate their use by the world scientific community. The SCO acts as a hub between space agencies and the international scientific community, highlighting the importance of the contribution of space technologies in the fight against climate change. I am delighted to have been able to count on AEM's support from the very beginning of SCO. One final point I would like to underline is the perfect organization by AEM of the 67th International Astronautical Congress, the ISC, in 2016 in Guadalajara. This event was a global success, bringing the Mexican and French space communities even closer together to really boost our partnership. As you can see, the subjects we are working on together are numerous. I am confident that French-Mexican space cooperation has a bright future ahead of it. Happy anniversary, AEM. Respected Landerlos President, Mexican Airlines President, I am the President of the Guangyu 卫星技术在公共卫生领域的应用更务实的合作共同探索浩瀚宇宙构建人类命运共同体谢谢。Hola, colegas y amigos de la Agencia Espacial Mexicana. Soy Raúl Kulichevsky, el director ejecutivo y técnico de la CONAE. Y quería, a través de este pequeño video, Desearles un muy feliz cumpleaños en estos primeros 10 años de vida de la agencia. Así que lamentablemente eh, las circunstancias no nos permiten poder festejarlo eh, estando juntos como, como desearíamos. Pero bueno, por lo menos a través de este video los acompañamos. 
queremos estar con ustedes, queremos seguir trabajando con ustedes eh, a partir del de convenio que en su momento firmamos en el año 2016 y que seguramente es la plataforma para que podamos seguir trabajando en conjunto y podamos hacer que nuestros países eh, no solo trabajen en el área espacial, sino que esto sea el puntapié para eh, la interacción en otros muchos sectores y que a través del trabajo de ustedes y de nosotros desde CONAE eh, podamos eh, cada vez más aportar al crecimiento de nuestros países, no solo a través de brindar información espacial, sino también a partir de los desarrollos tecnológicos que el, eh, todo el sector espacial puede contribuir y el crecimiento de nuevas empresas y las capacidades de exportación, que es cada vez más importante en todo el sector, eh, no solo para México y la Argentina, sino todo el sector latinoamericano. Así que eh, nuevamente, muy feliz cumpleaños, les deseamos no solo los próximos 10 años, sino los próximos 50 años de muchísima prosperidad. Un saludo grande desde la Argentina. Desde la Agencia Espacial de Perú, con IA, saludamos a la Agencia Espacial Mexicana por su décimo aniversario, deseando los éxitos en sus labores diarias y futuros proyectos nacionales e internacionales. ¡Feliz aniversario! Dear Dr. Salvador Landeros Ayala, dear colleagues and friends of the Mexican Space Agency, on behalf of the DLR Executive Board, I send you my best greetings and express our best wishes for your 10th anniversary of successful operation. Ten years have gone by and we can look back proudly on our long way together. I am especially thankful for the wonderful collaboration on the Iris ground station in Chetumal. DLR donated the Mexican Space Agency the antenna for reception of payload data from Earth observation satellites in 2014. Since then, the Iris ground station has been receiving images from Terra and Aqua satellites. The images have been processed in, in 36 bands. Your colleagues from ECOSUR invited DLR to show the results and discuss next steps on data application in April 2019. Thank you very much. DLR is highly impressed by your work in Chetumal. I believe that the Mexican Space Agency and DLR can collaborate even more. Together, we can reach milestones and achieve common benefits. Future collaboration might address global challenges, like, for instance, climate change. Indeed, collaboration should address several applications of Earth observation, fire detection, weather forecast, GPS, or the problems with Sargassum, the brown algae in the North Atlantic and Western Caribbean region. Therefore, It is very important to keep in close dialogue together with Caribbean countries and show that we can all work together and drive towards a common purpose. We will be glad to support you on your way forward. The German Aerospace Center is very much looking forward to continue the strong collaboration with the Mexican Space Agency and wishes you every success and the best health for the future. Hello, Salvador. Congratulations to you and all the colleagues at the Mexican Space Agency. Ten years. Ten years is a nice time, so ten years is still very fresh to be really agile and, and flexible for the future. At the same time, ten years means one has already some experience and knows how to do. We are all facing really challenging period with this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and it's necessary to take some time to celebrate, still in these difficult times, to celebrate and to think positive about the future, because that is what we would like to live in. And therefore, the creation of the Mexican Space Agency some 10 years ago was very significant also for the future, not only of Mexico, but around the world, because uh, space is always bridging earthly crisis. In space, we are working together. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, the European Space Agency and the Mexican Space Agency have been working together to share experience on a very spe special way how to share 
space data and services and how to address this very special global challenge. Our teams are discussing with each other and try to find solutions for the future. ESA and AEM established together a very stable cooperation in different areas like integrated applications and telecommunications, as we call this part, Earth observation, navigation, and also telemedicine. So all of this is good basis for future cooperation. And therefore, Mexico is for us a very important international partner of ESA. And as you know, ESA as itself, and as itself is already uh, international. We have about 22 member states, and uh, we are trying to always to convince the member states to go ahead with different programs. And therefore, when you are talking with ESA, you are at the same time talking with 22 member states. I'm very much looking forward to develop new projects together with AEM and also to visit again the, uh, the space agency and also other Mexican entities. And at the same time, I'm inviting you and your staff to come over to see ESA uh, at our different locations, what we are doing. And therefore, we are also ready to support you in the forthcoming creation of a Latin American and Caribbean Space Council. Again, congratulations to the 10th anniversary and look ahead in the future, do the best out of it, and uh, let's uh, do also whatever we can for the cooperation between our two agencies. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. My name is Avi Blasberger, and I am the director of the Israeli Space Agency. On behalf of the agency and the broader Israeli people, I wish the Mexican Space Agency congratulations for uh, its 10th anniversary. We at the Israeli uh, view our partnership uh, with the Mexican Space Agency as a strategic one between the two nations that strive to promote the peaceful use of uh, the outer space. Personally, I have witnessed firsthand the amount of thoughts, effort, and resources invested by the Mexican Space Agency to improve the life of the Mexican people and the broader humanity. For this, you have earned our up, uh, utmost respect. Congratulations again, and I wish both agencies a future of continued fruitful cooperation. It is my pleasure to address you all on the occasion of the celebration of 10 years of foundation of Mexican Space Agency. During these 10 years, Mexican uh, Space Agency has made impressive progress in developing and uh, consolidating Mexican space program, focusing on innovation and development in various domains of space technology. It has also expanded its international collaboration based on the principles of equity, equality, and mutual benefit. Indian Space Research Organization is pursuing successful space cooperation with Mexican Space Agency through the framework MOU on cooperation for peaceful purposes signed in October 2014. Both agencies have jointly organized a workshop in Mexico City in July 2016 on use of space technology for disaster management support. I am happy to note that this workshop has benefited more than 50 Mexican officials from 17 different agencies involved in disaster management support. A follow-up workshop specifically focusing on forest fire monitoring was organized by ISRO for the benefit of Mexican officials at Dehradun in August 2019. ISRO has also offered training to two Mexican officials on nano satellite building during January to March 2019 at Bangalore. Currently, both agencies are working to finalize an implementing arrangement for cooperation in forest fire monitoring using 
space technology inputs. All the above examples indicate Mexico's eagerness to learn on use of space technology for peaceful purposes and Mexican space agencies' proactiveness in enabling the same. I am sure Mexican space agency will take up many more projects to develop Mexican space program. I take this opportunity to compliment Mexican Space Agency on successful completion of its first decade of its establishment and wish for many more successful decades to come. Thank you. On the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the Mexican Space Agency, it gives me a great pleasure to extend my heartfelt congratulations to Dr. Salvador Landeros and his team at AEM. AEM is one of the leading organizations driving space activities in America. And on behalf of JAXA, I would like to salute AEM for reaching this 10-year milestone with continued commitment to excellence. As of this year, AEM and JAXA have started discussions on future prospects for collaboration. I'm pleased to hear that staff members from both organizations are continuing to engage in a dialogue to identify mutually beneficial areas of cooperation. I'm hopeful that this will lead to collaboration in various fields with the involvement of Japanese universities and scientific communities. Furthermore, I would like to welcome you to JAXA Scuba Space Center as I hope that this visit to our center could offer helpful ideas concerning the establishment of a science city in Mexico. I wish AEM continued success in the next decade and beyond. I'm looking forward to the day when JAXA and AEM are working together as international partners. Thank you very much. I'm NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein, and I am pleased to offer my congratulations to our friends in Mexico on the 10th anniversary of the Mexican Space Agency. AEM launched Mexico into a decade of accomplishment in space. This is an exciting time for both of our agencies, and we greatly value our partnership with you. Together, we share the goal of inspiring all of our citizens, especially future generations, on the importance of science and technology for our respective countries and for the sustainability of our planet and humankind. Our cooperation with you continues in important areas, including atmospheric research, space communications, and applied remote sensing training. Under NASA's Artemis program, we will land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024 and create a sustainable presence on the moon. We look forward to exploring a role for Mexico that will advance our shared goals for space science and human exploration with the ultimate destination of Mars. Congratulations again on this important milestone for your space program and best wishes for continued success in the coming decades. Estimado señor Salvador Landeros Ayala, estimados amigos, muy buenos días. Rad vas приветствовать y поздравить с десятилетием Мексиканского космического агентства. Надо сказать, что мы уже 20 лет с вами работаем очень активно с предприятиями аэрокосмической отрасли Мексики и уже наработали традиции взаимопонимания. Сегодня мы рассматриваем возможность подписание межправительственного Мексикано-Российского соглашения по изучению мирного космоса. Это очень важное соглашение, которое откроет для нас дорогу для более плотного сотрудничества с Мексиканским космическим агентством. Темы этого сотрудничества — это обширные вопросы нашего взаимодействия, изучения ближнего и дальнего космоса. Я назову несколько из них. Ну, конечно, это навигационная система ГЛОНАСС, глобальная навигационная система. И мы надеемся, что в ближайшее время на территории Мексики появятся наши станции калибровки сигнала навигационной группировки ГЛОНАСС. Это крайне важно для 
Мексики, потому что наличие таких станций на территории вашего древнейшего государства позволит обеспечить самые разные сервисы, в том числе транспортные сервисы, точную информацию для самых разных работ, начиная от предсказания землетрясений, заканчивая ситуации на воде, на, на море, значит, в океане, которая позволит обеспечить высокоточную навигацию всех транспортных средств, наземных, воздушных и морских. Очень интересной темой, которую мы обсуждаем сегодня с нашими мексиканскими друзьями, это тема исследования космического мусора. Тема, на самом деле, крайне важная, особенно с учетом того, что в ближайшее время ряд стран или организаций планируют и уже начали выведение низкоорбитальных космических аппаратов системы связи и широкополосного интернета. Это говорит о том, что космос будет теперь иметь уже не сотни космических аппаратов, а тысячи, а может быть даже и десятки тысяч в ближайшем будущем. И следить за этой обстановкой в ближнем космосе, видеть вопросы, которые возникают в рамках косметно-астероидной опасности в дальнем космосе, это, собственно говоря, очень интересная тема для сотрудничества между Мексикой и Российской Федерацией. Также хотел бы сказать о том, что мы готовы сотрудничать с вами и по вопросам создания космических аппаратов, которые могут обеспечить Мексику и ваш народ все необходимые информации. Информации и навигационной информации, связи, телевидение, высокоточная, высокодетальная съемка территории. Это все очень полезно для развития самых современных направлений экономики и промышленности вашей страны. Я буду очень рад и лично пообщаться с вами. Мы приглашаем вас в гости для ознакомления с нашей ракетно-космической отраслью, имеющей славные традиции, собственно говоря, начавшей свою историю еще с первого полета Юрия Гагарина. В следующем году мы отмечаем юбилей этого первого полета человека в космос и надеемся, что в Москве пройдут торжественные мероприятия и мы увидим мексиканскую делегацию. Еще раз вас с праздником, дорогие друзья! Рад буду вас видеть в Москве и muchas gracias. Спасибо. Dr. Landeros and our friends at the Agencia Espacial Mexicana, we sincerely hope that you are keeping as well as can be hoped for during this pandemic. As the Chief Executive Officer of the UK Space Agency, I'd like to extend the warmest of congratulations on a successful 10 years as a space agency. I'm delighted that the UK is collaborating with Mexico through our international partnership program, which is designed to match and align UK capabilities with governments and organizations in emerging and developing economies around the world. These partnerships are helping us to deliver measurable and tangible benefits to people on the ground, from high skilled jobs to economic growth. Mexico and the UK have joined forces and pooled our expertise on three trailblazing projects in Mexico. Forests 2020, designed to help protect and restore tropical forests through improved deforestation monitoring. Compass, which is helping wheat and sugarcane farmers to improve their productivity. And EO4 cultivar, which is implementing a detection and monitoring system for asparagus farming. Each project is, of course, linked to climate change and therefore supports the Declaration on Climate Change and Sustainable Development signed by our governments earlier this year. That commitment forms part of the UK's co-presidency of the 26th session of COP, which comes 10 years after Mexico's successful presidency of COP16. So on your 10th birthday, it is with great pleasure that I send this message to thank Agencia Especial Mexicana for your valued and continued partnership with the UK Space Agency and to wish you every success in the next 10 years. Thank you.